playing with one local fan. Which going to sort of on the feet to lose. Look at that. Your hands are stuck. Yay, yeah, you're okay. <laughs> I will give him his pop all day long. Hey guys, Barbara here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. The last video that I uploaded was to beef and okra or okra. In that video, you saw that I was making a bread pudding. So I want to show you guys how I'm making this bread pudding, all right? Take a look. So I got a couple of bowls here. Now bread pudding is normally three cans of evap, three cans of condensed, and five eggs. But that's a big bread pudding, a nine by 13. I only want to do this because I want to do it for a photo shoot for the book and I like this blue. So this is like a nine by nine. I don't even have bread, you guys. I don't even have sliced bread in the house, like white bread, because we're not buying bread. We just make um, sourdough. So you know what? I'm gonna make it all the sourdough. You need six slices for the large bread pudding, so therefore you need three slices for the small. And we're not gonna do bread and butter. We're gonna do regular. Now, mommy would normally get this wet and mush it up, because this is mommy's bread pudding, but I like to dice it up. And the stiffer the bread, the better. And you can make bread pudding out of anything. You can make it out of eclairs. You can make it out of donuts. You can, <laughs> oh my God, the sky is the limit, right? But the thing to making a really flan type, gelatinous type bread pudding is less bread and more eggs and more milk. All right, so I will eat anybody's bread pudding, but if it's not good, I'll let you know it's not good. That's more than enough right here, all right? So let me go ahead and crack my eggs. We're just going to use one and a half cans of each of these milks because that's half of three, right? One and a half is half of three. So we're doing a half recipe right here. And if Joe can pan slowly to this chalkboard, that's how I do my whole, my half, my third, and my quarter recipe. <laughs> yes, I have to write it out, guys. You don't see it too much on the show, but it is what it is. So all I gotta do is wash these first and I'll be right back. You guys are just gonna cry when you see how easy it is to do bread pudding. So beat the eggs separately. Normally mommy would take all those little white things next to it, but whatever, this is for a photo shoot. Open your evap, put it in large bowl. Remember we're doing a can and a half, right? All right. That's six ounces right there. What are we gonna do with the rest of that milk? Make something else, maybe some powder bun for the family. It doesn't go bad right away, you're good. I like these pop top thingamajigs. And I told you guys before in one of my videos that you can't boil these pop top ones because they're gonna bust. No, it wasn't true. Somebody told me that wasn't true, so I tested it. You can boil these in a big pot of water for three hours and make the caramel that goes on top of the cake, all right? So now for the condensed milk, we're not gonna measure, we're just gonna eyeball it because we can see in the can. For the evap just now, we couldn't see in the can. And I need some condensed to be left over to drizzle because we don't make any rum sauce. It's about half, right, Joe? Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe I could put a little bit more. And I don't put this back in the tin because I didn't wash the outside of the tin, just the top. Add the egg in. Add, can't talk. Add the eggs in. <laughs> basically, we're making a custard. My mom used to hate that word, basically. She's like, those are words that you say when you don't know what else to say. And by the way, guys, I'm still pursuing that thing about going on the talk, but it seems like they just like to put on celebrities. So I'm just going to have to like ramp up my record to show that I am a celebrity. I'm seen on TV four times a day in Belize, right? <laughs> I don't know who decided that they're gonna do their lawn today, but it is what it is. We have to tape our shows today. They do, people do their lawns on Thursdays too, I notice. So take a look at this, Joe. I don't know why I have all these eggs out. I think I was measuring eggs and I forgot. So I put my three eggs in. You guys saw that I put my three eggs in, right? The oven is coming up to temperature to 350, by the way. Put the bread in. A lot of people will yell at me and say, Barbara, that's way too little bread. Look at all that custard. I promise you, if you want to get that um, flan-type bread pudding, 
you need to put this little bread. If you don't want it to be flan like and you want your bread pudding to be more stiff to where you can put toppings like ice cream and a whole bunch of stuff on it, then don't do that. You know, but I like it where it's more gelatinous and flan like. So I'm just gonna let this sit here and soak for about five minutes to just kind of sap up. You can put other things in here too, nutmeg, cinnamon, whatever. I don't want to put any of that because you guys know I'm allergic to nutmeg and it's not everything that's called for cinnamon. Like Britney Spears said, oops, I did it again. I totally forgot that I wanted to put raisins in this here bread pudding. I, I think the reason why I forget is because my family doesn't like, well, not my family, the kids. They don't like raisins. Oh man, this is a little bit of raisins though. Well, it'll, it'll work, right? Mm -hmm. And these are some big raisins, look. California raisins. What's it? Mariana? Mariani. Mariani. All right. So let's spread it around. Yeah, my kids don't like raisins inside of anything, but they'll eat raisins on, on their own. You know, by themselves, I should say. So now, we don't need to butter the dish or anything, all right? And we don't need to set this in any kind of glass of water to bake. Although, if you want to do that, you can, but you don't need to. We already have the science down pat. For this to where it's gonna come out like a gel no matter what you do as long as you only go with a few slices of bread trust me guys I don't try to tell you lies when it comes to these recipes I think that's what you guys like about my stuff right is when you do it it comes out because who wants to buy ingredients and then the stupid thing doesn't come out all right so the oven's not ready yet. it's at 335 I'm gonna put it in at 350 and when I come back the bread pudding's gonna be done and I'll tell you how long it went for all right see you guys soon Joshua just told me he doesn't really like the texture of the Belizean bread pudding. Well, any bread pudding, right, Josh? Yeah, anything super soft and mushy. Yeah, and I like the texture, I'm just saying. So a little bit of butter, because you notice we didn't put any butter inside the pudding. That is and, satisfying. And this will make it taste a little bit salty on the top, because I have salted butter. But you don't have to run out and buy unsalted butter, all right? Well, that butter melt. Just that. You want to leave this alone, because I'm going to cut out like a perfect square right here in the middle to put on my little plate to do my photo shoot dead on on that there bread pudding, all right? And I wanted this blue. I really wanted this blue thing in the picture, so I'm glad I had this. I think this is from Pioneer Woman or something like that. But we're just gonna leave it alone. So you guys are gonna see it after I'm done shooting the picture. And such as it is that's going on in this house this, uh, this, house this week because my family members are mad because every time I make something, they're like, when are we gonna eat it? I'm like, when I'm done with the picture, when I'm good <laughs> and done. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys when we're tasting. Ta-da! Oh, child. It came out so good, but let me tell you, we, we must have taken a hundred pictures. Joshua was trying to drizzle while Joe was trying to hold a spoon in place while I'm over here, and then somebody holding this, the reflector, and we are <laughs> oh my God. I told Joshua, when I did the other one, it's to be fun okra, I said, oh, maybe I have a job doing this thing here, right here, is just go do food photography, right? After I did this one, I'm like, no, I quit, I'm tired, I hot. <laughs> So let me taste, I have not had bread pudding in a while because I feel like I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm not gonna eat a lot. But I just have to taste for you guys. It tastes as good as I remembered. Mm. So delicious. You guys, hmm? If you like squish up the bread, it's just gonna be smooth on the top, but if you dice it like I did, then it's gonna have some texture to it. That's what I needed. So I really wanted this blue thing in one of my pictures. So that's what I did, all right? So I've got like four more pictures. These are for the dividers of the book, by the way. I've got four more to do, and then we done with that part. <laughs> you guys, thank you for watching the, um, the show. Please share this video for me. Hit the thumbs up if you like what I produced. A lot of you um, always ask me to do bread pudding and do a smaller dose of it because I do that big pan. This is a smaller dose, three slices of bread, three eggs, one and a half tins of the condensed milk, one and a half tins of the evaporated milk, 
and some lemon extract. That's all there is to bread pudding. You don't have to make it complicated. Gorgeous, right? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next video. Bye! Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Bear Pantry Talk, for reviews and family vlogs. Also, follow us on social media. All links are in the description below.